distinguished guests, honorable members of Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce, dear Taiwanese community, on behalf of Consul General Dmitro Koshneruk, to be with you, it's a big pleasure and a big privilege. And I would like to express our highest appreciation for your strong support of Ukraine at this absolute tragic time of my country. I will start with the words of our President of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky. On this day, it actually happened 32 years ago, the 16th of July, at the same day, the Declaration of State Sovereignty of Ukraine was endorsed. It was the first document of this kind after many years which confirmed the right of our people to live independently independently and in a, in a democratic way. The specific points of the Declaration reflected the realities of the time and the hopes to reveal of our society. 32 years ago, 32 years later, after eight years of a war in Donbass and on the 143rd already day of the full-scale war against Russia, it may seem that the text of the Declaration could be different, particularly from the security point of view. But at, the, at that time, the text was also of a revolutionary character. The Declaration restored the tradition of Ukrainian state establishing, and it was on its basis that the Act of Declaration of Independence of Ukraine was later adopted. And today, when our people are fighting for independence, we have our right in every sense of the world, historically, politically, culturally, and what is very important, legally. In particular, our people's confidence in the victory is based on this. Ukraine has restored Russia's brutal laws. We have already managed to liberate part of the territory that was occupied after the 24th of February. We will re regularly and gradually liberate other regions of our state that are currently under the occupation. During such a war, we were able to obtain the status of the EU candidate. We have maintained the stability of public institutions. The power system was rebuilt to work in the power grid of the European continent. All logistical processes in the state, military and economic, were rechanneled. And the most importantly, we maintain internal unity, having overcome conflicts and confidentials that had hidden us in the past. Today is the fifth month of the heroic and courageous resistance of the Ukrainian nation against brutal Russian military invasion. As a result of the mass bombing of Ukraine with all types of aircraft, artillery and missile weapons available to Russia, we have a great number of civilian casualties. Since the beginning of the Russian war against Ukraine, every day it's happening. 353 children were died, around 700 children were injured and thousands of people were died. The resistance have together and destroyed maternity hospitals, orphanages, kindergartens, schools, universities, libraries. The enemy doesn't care what he is targeting. I know today successful entrepreneurs from over the Bay Area are present today and I would say about that one more part of our life, what is today, it's Ukraine National Recovery Plan. A conference held in Lugano, Switzerland on July, this year, it's just, uh, actually two weeks ago, devoted to the recovery of Ukraine. Ukrainian forces liberated more than a thousand settlements from the occupiers and new ones are added to every week. All of them suffered large-scale destruction and this also means the need for closer funds for the restoration of infrastructure for the return of medicine and social services, for the restoration of normal economic life. That's why the recovery of today is not only about what needs to be done later, but 
also after our victory of what will be, but also about what needs to be done at this time. And we have to do it together with our partners, with the entire democratic world. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has caused massive destruction of economic activity in Ukraine and damage to infrastructure, environment and livelihoods of Ukrainian people. Current estimate of damages is around 100 billion dollars and it's growing. We are very grateful to everyone who is helping Ukraine today and staying strong with us. We still stand for our freedom and sovereignty of Ukraine. We will win and we will win back our, rebuild our lives. We will do it with our partners together. Glory to Ukraine, glory to Taiwan.